Now for this part of the question, we're given this iterative formula where x0, our first approximation, is 2. And we've got to find out the next three approximations, x1, x2 and x3, giving our answers to three decimal places. Now to do this, you can take the slow approach, which is just to say let n equals, first of all, 0. And that will give you the next approximation, x1. x1 would be equal to 3 plus, let's just put this in, 3 plus the sine of a half x0. In other words, the half of 2. So if I put that in, it would be half of 2, which I know is 1, but I'm just purposely putting that in like that at the moment. And that's all divided by 2. And if we work this out in our calculator, and remember that this is a result that we need to have in radians, so make sure your calculator is in radians mode. This is the sine of 1, effectively. So if you do type in 3 plus sine of 1, all divided by 2, what you should find that you get is that it equals 1.920073, and so on. Okay, which when rounded to three decimal places, it equals 1.921 to 3dp. Now, we could put this answer through for our next value of x1 to get x2. x2 would be equal to 3 plus sine a half of this value, all divided by 2. But it's quite tedious when you do it like that. Now there is a quicker way which you can do using your calculator. And assuming you've got a calculator with a button like this with answer ANS on it, then you can use this quick method. All you need to do is take your first approximation, 2, type it into your calculator, press equals, OK, and then just clear the screen by pressing AC. Now what's happened is that the calculator now remembers, we'll just rub that out, now remembers the answer as being 2. We next need to key this formula into the calculator. And there's various ways that you can do this. If you've got a fraction button on your calculator, you could create this as a fraction. But every way that you've got xn, you need to press the ANS key. So assuming that you've got a calculator that does fractions, I can just say that what you've got to do is create 3 plus and then sign of a half. You might want to type in 0 0.5 there if you like. 0 0.5 for a half multiplied by and then just press the answer key. ANS. Okay, that should come up on the screen. Close the bracket and make sure this is all divided by 2. Now, once you've done that, if you just press equals, you should find you get this answer here. 1.92073. Let's suppose you press the equals then, up on the screen will come that answer. So 1.92073, and there'll be other digits there as well. Now, to get x2, all you need to do is just press equals again. And this value, now is the answer, is passed through this formula here. And if you do that, what you should find you get is that that will disappear and up will come 1.90970 and so on. So x2 is going to be 1.90970 and so on, which when rounded to three decimal places is 1.910, okay, to 3dp. And to get x3, the third approximation here, x1, x2, x3, just press equals again. This will disappear from the screen and you should find you get 1.90811 and some other digits there as well. So x3 then is 1.90811 and so on, which when rounded three decimal places 
is 1.908 to 3 decimal places 3 dp okay so i hope that's given you an idea how you can go about that